Saturday on a three day weekend in Times Square. I feel like an ant in an ant colony that has just been sprayed with a hose. So today we're going to uh, Little Italy, which is the home of my favorite film director in the entire world, Martin Scorsese. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. To be a gangster. <laughs> I hope pasta was something you were up for. Oh yeah, today, yeah. Oh yeah. Hey babe, wait, look. We could probably afford a place in New York, actually. Uh, just for me? I bought you a place, baby. Thanks, baby. You and I can uh, start a family in that hole. <laughs> oh wait, do you smell that? Yeah, it was down here. Oh my god. I we're in Little Italy. If you guys don't, you guys have to know, Italians like are known for their cooking. And holy shit, look at this. Homemade garlic bread, babe. Well, if I'm not mistaken, the place we ate when we came was down there. Is it awesome. really good? Yeah. Let's I think do it. anything on the tree is going to be. Oh good. my god. Okay, it's up and down. Oh. This is a good call. Do you not see that? Look at that time lapse. I got to get the Empire State Building's right there. I know. Ready? We just got the sickest time lapse to start this episode. Well, you already know because you saw that this morning. Well, you saw that at the beginning of this episode. I just need to eat. Let's go get pasta. Uh, how do we decide where to eat? I don't know. What looks good? Five, literally five minutes later. Food coma? 100%. Well, they have to. So, we do. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck here in a tropical storm. Do you know what a tropical storm is? You're from Utah, so I know you don't deal with them a lot. Uh, I deal with ice. It's different. We're supposed to leave New York tomorrow night. I did that so that like I had an entire day of filming during the day, and then like I would just take a red eye home, edit on the flight, and then start a fresh day in LA the next day. Uh, but apparently my dad, like I said, my dad's a pilot. My dad has informed us that if we do not get out of New York tomorrow morning, then there is probably no chance that we will be able to leave for the next two to three days because the tropical storm is heading right for us. So we're going to spend a couple minutes right now trying to see if we can get our flights changed. If we can't, then we are going to be in New York City for a hurricane. If we can, then we'll let you know. We'll be heading out tomorrow morning. But that's our current situation. Kind of intense. <laughs> They only have one hour in uh, Little Italy. We have to go to the Met Stadium where I'm giving my little presentation for the Beijing Tourism Board. Uh, and we literally have to leave in an hour. So like everything we wanted to do today while it's still light out needs to be done in an hour. A crazy thing is like in Los Angeles, we have Chinatown, we have like little Tokyo, but it's not really. It's just like a little area of town where like some of those stores are, but like Little Italy, Chinatown, all of the like actual cultural areas in New York are actually inhabited by those people and like so much of the culture still lives here that it, like it's really cool to come to because like this is Little Italy and we're walking around hearing people speaking Italian like smelling Italian foods listening to Italian music but one block over is Little China and there they speak a lot of different languages from the Orient 
they have different Chinese food. It's just cool. Um, anywhere catch back. your attention? I think we should go back the other way. I think there's more food. Okay, let's do it. Baby, have you ever thought about having your own cooking show? Me? Not cooking show, but like food tasting show. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Would you do My that? Dad and I wanted to do one. Get out of here. No joke. We wanted to go to like random. Nobody take our ideas. Why doesn't? Why don't you and your dad do a YouTube channel like trying foods? I have a totally. Different why don't you and I do a YouTube channel trying foods? We do that too. Would you guys watch me and Angelique traveling the world eating different food? That's My kind dad of. Would hate I was gonna me. say, but that's kind of like what we already do. Yeah, I'm saying. My dad would be like, that's like when his dream is to like go around tasting. He's like a food critic himself. He's like really good, so that would be his dream to do that. If we did that you one, sold my watch, that. Robert. I'm gonna <laughs> steal your dream and your daughter. Do you happen to know where uh, Chinatown okay. is? Okay, just make a right. Really? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, check this out. Little Italy, Chinatown. Literally, a street divides them. This is incredible. The culture, the cultural differences that are literally 10 feet apart is like incredible right now. Oh, this is so cool. I know, right? They kill a lot of ducks. Maybe it's because of the differences in the cultures we were raised with, but I feel a lot more comfortable in Little Italy. Chinatown's a lot of dead animals and animals that are still alive waiting to die. I don't want to, I don't want to like, yeah, let's go, we got it, let's go. Nothing against Chinatown, but Little Italy's all pasta and ice cream. Chinatown is all dead ducks and dying crabs. We're going back to Little Italy for a minute. I will say, 150%, it is a lot easier to vlog in New York City. There's just so much going on. My grandma's from up here. She's like part of the whole New Jersey, New York crew. No, she is? She is oh yeah, oh yeah. Da? Da is New York as it gets. But what you didn't know is Da is 100% New York Irish, but she acts, sounds, and behaves like 100% New York Italian why you hear things like Bolotter, right? she'd start singing along going out, but if there was a traditional Irish song, not a chance. Hi guys. My mom and grandma. Duh, look, I'm in Little Italy. I'm in Little, I'm in Little Italy eating homemade gelato, listening to Volare. I wish you were here. I was just, I was telling my video, this is like your dream. My grandma, my mom said, Da hasn't been to New York since about 1960, but, oh my God. <laughs> but she was giving us directions and recommendations on restaurants to eat at. <laughs> my mom was giving her shit saying they probably so haven't been open since 1972, but I'm sure. Da, next time I come here, I will go to that Italian restaurant I couldn't pronounce because she said you have to go under a building to get to it and everything on the table is edible. Da will check it out. I wish you guys could be here. I love you. We got 15 minutes, we're gonna walk around a little, and then we unfortunately have to get in a taxi and go to City Field. Again? Hot, hot, hot. You think it's broken? You probably fried it. Put my Osmo in my backpack when we were walking, but apparently I didn't turn it off, but I locked the whole top of it. So for about 40 minutes, it's been trying to like center itself and it couldn't. My Osmo is probably about 120 degrees. No joke. I hope I didn't fry it. All right, so we made it to City Field. Uh, we are 20 minutes late. I'm very sorry, China, but there's only so much I could do. Meet the Mets. Go, go. Step right up and greet the Mets. Bring your kiddies, bring your wife. Guaranteed to have the time of your life. Let's me. 
Oh, uh, do we need anything here? We're good? Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm a filmmaker as well as a content creator on YouTube. Uh, I got the amazing opportunity to travel to Beijing um, with the tourism board as well as the great people at MasterCard. The cops won't let him stay there too long. Look at his little legs running. We're going to Marriott Times Square. We'll put an address in for you. Baby, be careful. People are going to start to see how much of a freak you actually are. I don't care about dirty hands. I don't care about dirty hot dogs. I personally think it's great and everything in the world should be dirty because that's how it's intended to be. I'll get one, but I don't love hot dogs. Really? You can get a dirty water dog? What about pretzel? You can get a pretzel. No, I don't like pretzels. With mustard, ketchup, and relish. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Thumbnail for sure. Good, right? Watching dudes try to pick up the naked girls is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. They like walk up to her and they're like, sweetheart, you're beautiful. And it's like, she's a freaking naked chick in the middle of Times Square. Like, is that, is that a good call? Like, I don't want to judge. I'm sure they're sweet people, but like. I love helping people take photos. I'm like a freaking messed up photographic superhero. Look at these kids. They just saw their first naked person. <laughs> we were just about to leave. This place is crazy. It's so weird. Oh my you should take one of these stickers and put it? them somewhere. YG money? No. No. <laughs> what does it say? Badge money. Badge money. It's going to be a nonprofit. Did you hear what this sticker says? Yeah, badge money. Badge money. What is this? What is badge money? I don't want to know actually. A non-profit called badge money? Complain about everything.